Hello, my most amazing artists. I wanted to take some time to talk to you about creating an artwork about birch trees in winter. So the first step of this process I'm going to show you is a way to use paint to create birch trees. If you have some masking tape at home or some painter's tape, you can peel off some pieces and stick them to your clothes a couple of times to make, them, make the tape not quite as sticky. And then you can stick different lengths of that tape, vertical or almost vertical, on your paper to make the space for some birch trees. Now, when you're finished doing this, or as you're doing this, you might want to think about which ones are further away and put those higher up on the paper, and which ones are closer to the viewer, and you can put those lower down on the paper. So I have two that are a little bit further away, one that's really close and one that's kind of in the middle. I'm using a white crayon over my tape in the sky to make swirls and lines kind of inspired by Vincent Van Gogh since we just finished a project related to Vincent Van Gogh. And now I'm tracing the tape in pencil just to give me an idea about where my trees are when I remove the tape. I did that very lightly. I don't want that to be there forever necessarily or I want to be able to remove it if I want to, so I did it very, very lightly. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to use some, I used watercolor. If you want your crayon lines to show up, you're going to want to use either watercolor or marker paints. And I am just using some blues and purples to create a sky in the background. So I started, actually the first thing I really did before I even started painting is I sprayed that top half of the paper with some water, just a light mist of water. The other thing you could do is use your paintbrush and paint on clean water, and that helps with the wet on wet technique. So I'm putting wet paint on wet paper here, and that just helps the paint kind of blend together a little bit more smooth and turn out pretty nice. I got kind of a dark purple streak there in the middle I wasn't very fond of, but I think it's gonna turn out okay in the end. Next, what I did is I used, I started by using a dry brush technique where I got most of the paint and water off of my brush, but there was still a little bit of paint on there, and I mapped out where my shadows were going to go from my trees. And so my shadows are all going at the same angle or a similar angle, and that represents that the light source or the sun is on one side of the trees. I went back over that area with water, and then I let it dry for a little bit. So I am I peeled off the tape, and now I'm adding the shadows, or actually it's kind of the texture of the birch tree to the other side. And that is how I created this artwork of birch trees in winter. If you want to add some details in the background with crayon, you might want to do that before you start painting. So if you wanted to add a little house on a hill, or if you wanted to add a fence, those are all things that could be added before the painting process. I hope you enjoy this artwork and I'll see you again soon. Another option for adding the birch tree texture to your painting, if you have some thicker paint like some acrylic or some liquid tempera paints, you could use some scraps of cardboard or something kind of thicker and more solid to use as a scraping tool. And you can put a little bit of paint on that scraping tool and then use sideways strokes to scrape the texture onto your trees as well. That might be another option instead of using the liquid paints or the watercolors. Mm -hmm. 